My eyes, my eyes. Boy, does it burn. Not real bad, but it is burning enough. So let's just take a look. As you can see, I took off all the nest fronts. There was nine of them. There was these two boxes right here. There's four on each side. But this is, the back side is my breeding loft. This is for everybody else that wants to breed during the summer or whatever. Um, as you can see how wet it is in here, you talk about some very strong bleach. I scraped everything down, scraped the floor, swept the floor up. I just coated everything down, even the ceilings. Um, so it's pretty strong in here. But let me show you some other stuff. The couple places where I thought the mice could get, or the rats could get in and had gotten in, um, I completely boarded this up down his edge. It was not really, there was like a place in the bottom and a place in the top where they probably could have got in. Down through here, there was one hole where he actually came in. Like I said, this hole is the one where the rat had got in originally and the first bird that died was in this box. Like I said, I had a nest front on there. I had food and water bowls on there. The first one, I'm not gonna say it died right off, but it lost its legs. It couldn't even stand up. It wasn't doing well. So I wound up, I think I wound up taking it out anyway. Um, so got all that, as you can see the buildup of the bleach and water here. Um, all the perches were scraped and cleaned. And down there, I put a board just to make sure nothing get through there. I'm not worried about the top because there's the top plate all the walls that were inside. So then you got a shiny part. I took this wall. I guess you remember I had a big opening all the way around this, this window. As you can see, I framed it all in. Now nothing can come through there at all anymore. I went ahead and put the cold purses up there. One little hole was right there. You never know. It could have went up the side and cr crumbed down through the hole. There was the original hole that was in this side of the loft where they got in there on that bottom. So I closed that up too. So that being said, everything else in here, including the ceiling, soaking wet. Whew, my eyes are burning a little bit. Got the windows open, got this window open, the whole front and this window. This loft will be done tomorrow, this front side, because I got to move all this stuff out. And this box is got to be all cleaned. All my bowls have got to be cleaned. My feeders are going to be cleaned. Even the metal one right there. My waterers and everything else. Like I said, I was using those bed and pellets. And I've got to clean everything in here. And I'll douse this down really good once it's clean. And then I'll come through here one more time. And I'll clean it. <clears throat> Bleach it one more time. I'm sorry. So what I did, I put all my white birds in one loft. And I put all my flyers in another, not a loft, but one of my big boxes down there. I put all my flyers in another big box. My breeders, I've got separated out somewhere else. And I've got to go out to dinner with my brother and a friend of ours with my wife. So I got to call it quits for the day. But like I said, I appreciate all, I appreciate all of the information people gave me. <clears throat> I'm going with pair of typhoid salmonella. I figured the medicines that I'm getting, because I was giving them four and one before this ever happened. I figure the way the twisty neck and all that came with that, that I had most likely that's what it was. And I consulted a friend of mine named, named Tony, who actually used to run a pigeon store in Baltimore, Maryland. I figured, hey, if anyone has has uh, information on birds affected by rats getting in their coops, he would consider it was Baltimore, because Baltimore, as we know, is full of rats. I know, because I used to live there. But Tony told me, most likely it's para, paratithoid, or paratithoid, oh, here we go now, I can't even pronounce the word. But I've got two medicines, I can't remember them, but they work well together to, to cure this. It works with salmonella and everything else. I ordered some brewer's yeast, as Danny recommended, and I've got some apple cider vinegar, and I've already got vitamins and electrolytes, and that's about that. So, that being said, I really appreciate all the help I get from you guys. 
Um, I'm getting a lot of condolences, whether it's here or on Facebook, my YouTube channel, which I'm Terry Mayhew on Facebook, if you all want to hit me up there. When I get this done, when I get my birds back in the loft, we're going to get back to my 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I'm really surprised that I made it that far. And I'm glad because if it wasn't for you guys, I'd be up, I'd be up, up a creek without a paddle. Um, I have a story about that I might tell you some other day. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys, and you all have a great weekend. Bye.